Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yashallah, Koholoyim La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit and, um, this particular article article was uh a couple of days ago. What's the day? Uh the day um I think is the I don't know, it's like two days ago, I think. But it says Chinese scientists on September seventh, twenty twenty three announced they had succeeded in growing kidneys containing human cells and pig embryos. See? Hey, there you go. Chinese scientists have succeed okay, all right, same thing. Uh okay. Chinese scientists have succeeded in growing kidneys containing human cells and pig embryos. A world first that could one day help address organ donation shortages. And there you have it, man. So, this is one of the reasons why our Lord has to come, man, to get these goddamn weirdos out of power. You see? Because Esau don't care. And, and, and look, these, hey, Moab, but damn sure don't care. Moab, I'm surprised, hey, if, Moab will probably cook that goddamn pig up after it's done um, doing the scientific um, leg word on it. <laughs> hey, Moab, man, don't care, man. But why do you think so many people are having um, these complications with health, man? Because Esau Edom is running this shit, man. The so-called white man, he's running the kingdom. This is his kingdom. And these other nations, they're basically just, you know, getting drunk off of the wine of Babylon. You know, they're, they're basically sleeping with the whore, man. They're sleeping with um, um, the virgin daughter of Babylon, catching those goddamn STDs from her. And, and, they're you know, all these other nations are trying to be like these, these wicked-ass Americans. And they don't care about what they're doing. They don't have no, no fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They don't have no, uh, you know, let me think, is this ethical? <laughs> they don't think like that, man. They don't have uh, uh, that, you know, that particular type of spirit. And that's all these heathens, man. That's why the Lord told us when we came out of Egypt with Moses, the Lord told us, man, hey, look, don't be like these other nations. Don't do what they do. I'm throwing their asses out of the land right now because of the things that they do. I'm going to give you this land of milk, uh, flowing with milk and honey. But if you do what they do, vomit your ass out of here, too. And that's pretty much what happened to us as a people. Jake out here trying to live like these nasty ass heathen, man. Disgusting, man. They just out here doing all kinds of disgustingness. You see, now, it was a little video here I was watching on YouTube. Now, because you know they did have, let me see, where, where is it at? Because uh, it was about a year ago, I think it was, when they, um, they actually done a, 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 a um, you know, a, a surgery and put a damn pig heart into a, into a guy. And he lived for a few months, I think, off of it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that was in 2022, January 20, 2022. In late September 2021, a team of researchers transplanted a gene edited pig's two kidneys into the body of a person. So it wasn't a heart. So, like, it was a, um, um, the kidneys that they transfer into this guy. And I think he lived for about two months afterwards. But anyway, let's get this real quick. Shit is crazy, man. This is the reason why these people got to be taken out of power, man. Oh, shit, this is not what I want. It's locked. I want to try and see this one. I wanted to play the video. Let me go back to YouTube. It was already playing. It's locked here. Right here. A couple of minutes, so bear with, me, bear with me on it. Hopefully they don't show no more commercials or nothing. For years, researchers have worked toward transplanting animal kidneys into humans. It's a race against time. There are almost 600,000 Americans on dialysis in need of a life-saving kidney transplant. 240 Americans die every day on dialysis, and many of these deaths could be prevented if an unlimited supply of kidneys were available. Pigs are the 
most promising donor source. Researchers have been able to genetically engineer pig kidneys that can coexist with the human immune system. Surgeons have made multiple attempts to transplant animal organs into humans. But no one has been able to demonstrate how the entire process of transplant of a pig kidney to human would work in the real world. Until now. In seminal peer-reviewed research in the American Journal of Transplantation, a team at the University of Alabama at Birmingham revealed the results of the world's first clinical-grade pig-to-human kidney transplant. Notably, the study was conducted to meet the same standards as a phase one clinical trial trial, making it mirror, as much as possible, every step of a normal transplant between humans. They started with unique pigs, genetically engineered with 10 gene edits. Three deletions disabled genes that would trigger the human immune system and cause rejection. A fourth deletion prevents the kidneys from growing too large in the recipient after transplant. The rest are human genes added to the pig genome to prevent the recipient's immune system from attacking the organ. pathogen-free facility designed for clinical use. The human recipient was a brain-dead man whose family gave permission for this crucial test of animal-to-human organ donation. Pig donor kidneys must be tissue-matched to human recipients, just like human kidneys. The UAB team designed and performed the world's first test to ensure tissue compatibility from a pig to a human. In separate tests, the researchers also confirmed there were no viruses transmitted. Both are critical to the wider implementation of pig-to-human kidney transplantation. After the pig's kidneys were removed, they were transported to UAB Hospital, just like a human donor organ. Meanwhile, surgeons removed the recipient's kidneys. Then they attached the pig kidneys to the recipient's arteries and veins, as well as to the bladder. Within 23 minutes, the kidneys had produced urine. The kidneys remained viable and made urine for more than three days. And genetically modified pig cells were not detected in the recipient's blood. This study is an important step toward ending the organ shortage and preventing tens of thousands of deaths each year. <laughs> and there you have it, man. And, and see, they, see, Moab is only following in behind Esau. Because see, this was America here. This particular, I remember this. But what does the scripture say, man? Like, we're, we're not even supposed to even touch the carcasses of a damn pig, so... Why in the hell will we allow some shit like that to be put into us? Man, just go ahead and give up the ghost. You know? Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. What is that? Um, let's see, this is what Esau don't want coming out, too. Let me see if I, I can find it. If not, I'll just, um, just roughly paraphrase it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ecclesiasticus 38 and 4. Also known as the book of Sirach in the Apocrypha 1611 King James Bible. It says the Lord hath created medicines out of the earth. And he that is wise would not abhor, abhor them. See? The Lord made medicines out of the earth. What, what does that mean? He made fruits, vegetables, herbs, spices, all different types of things, man, that will keep your body working and, and, and functioning properly. But what does Esau do? What does the so-called white man do? This motherfucker, he genetically modifies the damn food. Now everything is seedless. Seedless grapes. Seedless watermelons. I bought a damn grapefruit that didn't have no seeds in it the other day. Seedless this, seedless that. They're modifying the fish. You know, they're they're, you know, they're 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 coming up with new, new types of lab grown meat. And you think the Lord is gonna allow this man to continue to rule? Man, this man is demise is coming soon, man. Because he's a fucking destroyer of the earth, man. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. What is that? Um, let me think where that's at. Let's go into the blue letter real quick. I'm telling you, man, this man must be taken out of power. Because if, he, if he's not, then everything 
will 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 fucking be destroyed, man. This man done tore this damn planet up. Now he 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 so called trying to fix every damn thing with a bunch of damn uh 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 <laughs> some damn Frankenstein shit, man. Nobody want no goddamn pig organs and stuff like that in them. Talking about the closest thing to humans that they can do this in is the is the is the disgusting ass abominable pig, man. The hell out of here, man. <gasps> Telling you, man, this man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Revelation 11 and 18, it says, And the nations were angry, and the wrath, Salakia, and the wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them that destroy the earth. See, destruction is coming to you, you, you clowns that's destroying the earth, man. First off, people are sick. And all fucked up because of you. You done messed up the drinking water. You done messed up the air quality. Yeah, you, 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 you screwing with the food. You done made a weapon out of families. <laughs> this man done weaponized every goddamn thing. And then he wants to come at you all in the name of his science. Talking about, yeah, we have a, 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 a we're now we're going to um, grow shit in pigs. So, you know, uh, uh. People won't die. But you the one killing fucking people. Here you go. This man allow a motherfucker to sell cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he I mean, everything about this man is self-destructive. You can legally self-destruct in America, man. And, and like I said again, Moab and them, man, all Moab and them done, all they done was, hey, they took the man on, man. Here you go, you'll see them so-called Chinese men. They, they dressed in a suit and tie looking just like white men. And hey, what's going on now? Oh, no, no, that's my neighbor, man. But, I, you know, I probably will give him a buzz up because he at work. Okay. If anything, I'll, I'll buzz him up and see if he want me to. I don't know. Okay. Appreciate it, though, man. But, yeah, uh. It's a lucky. I'm going to get that back again. Revelations 11 and 18. Yeah, the FedEx man was coming through, dropping off some on the neighbor's porch. And I'm like, shit, ain't no, he ain't gonna be to the crib, man, about four in the morning, shit. So, and you know, some goddamn porch pirates out this bitch. <laughs> so I might have to grab it up for him, man. You know, I wouldn't leave it out here. He, you know, we kind of look out for each other on that on that level. But anyway, Revelations 11 and 18. He about to pass it right off to me. I'm the house over, shit. He, had I just been a, a, a messed up, you know, neighbor. I could have just took the package like, yeah, yeah, that's me, man. <laughs> like, damn, he just about to hand it off to me like it's, you know, that's my shit. Anyway, Revelation 11 and 18, it says, And the nations were angry, and the wrath has come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them, which destroy the earth, man. Because this man has not, you know, it's not that only that he has destroyed the earth. He has destroyed the people. This place is through, man. We need new management. You can't tell me earth don't need new management with this clown in, 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 uh, uh, in, in, in play. Like for real, for real. Because I've seen this yesterday and I'm thinking like, man, I was going to do a post on it. <laughs> then it, it came back up, you know what I'm saying, about a spirit, you know. Which is a good thing that I'm, you know, I'm doing it now because I didn't, you know, I wouldn't have done it like this yesterday because I would have just went off into the news break app where it was. And I wouldn't have seen this actual YouTube video where they're actually showing you how this clown is getting down. And you know what? The scripture talks about how um, uh, uh, how Esau is wiser than Daniel. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. I can end out there because this man, hey, he studies every goddamn thing. This man, he knows you Negroes, too. He knows exactly what to feed you. He knows exactly how to keep you entertained. He know exactly how to keep you docile, slow as hell, doofy as hell, stupid as hell. He, he understands how to do that stuff. Don't think that this man don't know how to how to stupefy a person, man. That's why you're seeing a lot of these people running around out here, all these goddamn um these 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 these, these kids, man, where the scriptures talks about menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. Bobbing at the mouth, can't walk, can't do nothing, just, you know, just, just here, man. 
to push their, their medical system. You know, everybody out here on some type of, you know what I'm saying? I was kicking it with my uncle earlier and shit, you know. They, 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 they done ran through his fucking insurance. So now he, he can't get, now he gets no more medical help. And he's, 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 he, he had, the shit that he was doing and going through the treatments and all this other stuff hasn't even made him better. But they ran through all that money. And that's what Esau is about, man. You know, his nurse telling him today, like, you know, uh, well, you know, this will be my last visit. You know, um, see, they done blew through his money. They done blew through the insurance, man. For like three weeks, you already are that type of bill. That shit is like going on a goddamn vacation to Rome for seven weeks. <laughs> for real, you might as well go and see the sights, man. You go to the hospital. It's just all a, a big fucking joke, man. It's all a scam. And this man, you know, the Lord don't like stuff like that, man. That type of dishonesty. This man is the most dishonest motherfucker on the planet, man. He got to go. All right, wait, Salakia. I forgot what I was about to get. Um, what was that? Uh, Salakia. Anyway, it don't even. It don't even matter. Oh, matter of fact, it was uh, wiser than Daniel, cause he searched out everything. You looking at the process of uh, uh, what this guy was going through through that little little video, and you looking like, well, how the fuck did this nigga know this shit? How does he know that? You know how he know that? Because he's testing, 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 testing. He's a so-called a brain dead guy. You know, their family, you know, donated his body for Esau to get out here and just play goddamn Frankenstein, man. Come on, bro. Ezekiel 28 and 3, it says, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. I'm telling you, this man searches out everything. How you think this motherfucker, he's building rockets? You know how much time, effort, and money it takes to put into some shit like that? Jake, nah, man, we ain't thinking about no, no, no shit. We ain't about to go into space. Get the hell out of here. That's the last thing on Jake's mind. Only time we trying to go into space, man, is when the ships come. When, when Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh come through, our Lord come through and wreck on this place, man. And we being beamed up in them chariots, man. That's the only out of space we trying to do. We ain't trying to just leave the planet. This motherfucker, man, he got an international, international space center. He's got goddamn, um... Shit trying to go to the bottom of the oceans. He's all over the place. This motherfucker is all over in volcanoes and shit. You name it, man. There's nothing that this so-called white man has not, you know, um, tried to do. And he's not going to stop. This is why he must be taking out of power. Because he ain't going to stop, man. He's not going to stop. Everything is going to be destroyed, man. It, it, you know, if this man continues to um, um, empower, man. He's not going to stop. Nothing would never be enough for him. Trust me when I tell you that. The scripture talks about that. This man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. And like I said, see, that, 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 that story was pretty much about, you know, with China. But where do you think they get this from? Where do you think they get this from, man? Transplanting hearts, transplanting lungs, transplanting this, blood transfusions, transplanting. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker got plasma companies all over the place. I've been seeing them like crazy now. They've been building brand new um, plasma places, man. And on all you see is Jake. Jake rolling up. I remember it was a video of this one chick. She was like, yeah, that's how I get my hair and my nails done. That's extra money per month. She going to sit around and, and, and donating her goddamn blood and plasma and shit. Get the hell out of here, man. All for Esau. And every time you look up, I, matter of fact, I was kicking it with an Edomite about this shit, too. And he was like, well, yeah, yeah, I don't know what they're doing with all the blood. Every time I go to the doctor, it's blood work, blood work. Blood work. We got to take blood. What are they doing with all the blood? Like, what the fuck you think they doing with it? They testing it? They doing all kinds of abominable shit with it? Here you go. And, and now, uh, you know, they done pretty much done, done, done made it law where they're accepting, you know, um, the alphabet people's, uh, you know, blood. So here you go. You don't even know if you getting some alphabet people's blood. And, it, you know, it, it, oh, we filtered it. Everything's okay. Then next thing you know, something going on with you, man. Come on, man. Esau with his goddamn science. <laughs> and he's about to pull it off, too. He's about to pull it off again. He's not going to stop with that science thing because they don't believe in the Lord. They believe in science, baby. They believe that they're gods. Look at us. 
We got this. We'll handle this. No, the Lord didn't make watermelons right. We're going to make a new watermelon. The Lord didn't do the grapes right. We're going to make a new grape. The Lord didn't do this right. We're going to change this. We're going to blot off the sun. We're going to we'll make our own weather machines. We're, we, we will make it rain when we want it to rain. This motherfucker is out of his damn mind, man. <laughs> he, I'm telling you, he's not going to get no better about it. He's going to continue, 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 continue. Until the Lord comes. So, hey, man, hey, repent to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, the, hey, the, the brothers, the apostles, they've been doing so many beautiful, great lessons, man, on getting in shape, detoxing, doing things that, you know, you can you can help yourself with. And, you know, this is not medical advice. You know what I'm saying? We do have to put that disclaimer out there. But, hey, it, it's, 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 it's some stuff. You, you just got to do the best that you can because we are living in um, captivity and, and everything that we pretty much eat is defiled because this man is in, in rulership but you just do the best that you can with the best of it you know it, it damn sure stay away from the processed shit the super processed foods best you can get the best of the fruits and vegetables that you possibly can the brother was going off into getting you a blender get you a small blender or a bullet or whatever man get you a nice blender here you can get a blender and, and start to blend up your own you know um, um, um health drink so to speak man Shit, it's nothing to go on YouTube or go online and, and pull up um, healthy drinks. All you got to do is put in something like that. They're going to give you a list of things to, um, that you can use to put in your blender. They're going to show you the berries. They're going to show you, um, as a matter of fact, they'll show you what kind of, um, you know, nuts and stuff to eat. Walnuts, you know what I'm saying? You know, some stuff is a little bit, you know, um, expensive, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, do the best that you can, man. Pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and, and, and most definitely pray over the food. Matter of fact, the brother, I wish I had it on me. Um, but the brother, he, he, um, the brother of uh, down in, oh, what is that? Uh, the Baltimore camp, the elder down there, he, he puts together these Hebrew, um, prayers, but he actually done one on GMO foods and I have it in the house and I wrote it down, but I've been saying it, you know, as I've been praying it on a day to day basis, you know what I'm saying about praying over the GMO foods or praying over foods in general in the hebrew and it's a beautiful prayer too man you know what i'm saying you just got to have faith that the lord is going to bless you know and you want to pray over your stuff anyway pray over this shit man because this man is crazy as hell like for real for real he's causing all the damage in the earth but then he want to try and make it seem like he's fixing every damn thing and that's what a damn um devil is a deceiver that's what that word devil goes off into man it's a uh, it's a deceiver it's not some red guy under the ground with spandex red suit on and he's got the pitchfork no that devil goes that word goes off into diablos i think it is which is deceiver man a damn slanderer that's what esau is he get out here and get to telling you about how you know he he wants to help you you know he's out here testing shit on jake you know without jake knowing he he been doing a bunch of that that's the reason why jake wasn't getting down with that cov19 jake wasn't trying to get down jake a lot of jake wasn't rolling these sleeves up some of these clowns did though you know, there was a good number of them did, but a lot of Jake was like, uh-uh. Oh, y'all not about to test that shit out on me. Because <laughs> they understand that this is what Esau has been doing since we've been in this country. Most of his medical um, um, accomplishments have come at the, at the, at the, you know, the lives of you, Jake, man. He has made a business out of, out of medicines off of basically lab ratting you niggas, man. Y'all better wake up, man. You know, y'all better wake up. Everything that's made, you, here you go. Every every little ailment, every little thing that happens with you, everything that goes on with you, you headed to a goddamn Walgreens or CVS to get some of this man's bullshit. Why don't you just work it out? Why don't you just uh, uh, let your immune because it ain't going to go away anyway. Jake going get, to go get this man's shit like it's just going to instantly go away as soon as he take it. Your ass still going through pain. <laughs> you see but anyway i just wanted to touch on this man hey beware of e man this is the beast man so with that i pray that the lesson was edifying for me inshallah